Hi, I'm Marion Worley. Today we're going to talk about finding unindexed Latvian birth, marriage, and death records and census records on family search. Um, this is actually a, a variation of a talk that was presented at the Jewish Gen Latvia Research Division meeting at the virtual conference this past summer. Now the problem is that the Latvia database on Jewish Gen has links to the old Latvian archives website, which is called Radaratsky. The website, unfortunately, has been completely redesigned and the links no longer work. Now, in addition to the new Radaratsky website, Family Search has been filming at the Latvian State Historical Archives and their digital image, images are expected to be more stable. So this is a short presentation that talks about a workaround until we can correct the links in the Latvia database. And the presentation is going to talk about a workaround, which is if you have the archival number from the Latvia database, as well as the information about the specific image that you're looking for, it's fairly simple to find the actual record among the family search collection. So this is a sample birth record from the Latvia database. It is for somebody named Hyasora Minsk. And if you'll notice, it shows that the she was from uh, Dvinsk, or also known as Dineberg or Duneberg, or da, currently known as Dog of Pills. And she was born in 1891. And there's a no, uh, at the bottom here, you'll see circled, there's an LVV, LVVA notation. Now, LVVA is the Latvian abbreviation for the words, and I'm not even going to attempt to pronounce it, for the Latvian State Historical Archives. Every archival file is digitized as a separate file, and the title page shows the fund or the fund name, which is this uh, 5024 number, um, archival fund being just sort of a designation of a group of records, the fund number, the inventory number, the file number, and then the dates of the document and the number of pages. Now note on the Jewish Gen record, there's also a, an image number, which in this case is 144, and there's a record number, which is F235, which means female number 235 in the birth records. We'll go into that in a little bit more detail in a minute. So, on family search, the designations are really pretty much the same. They look a little bit different. So instead of slashes between the uh, components, they have um, hyphens and they have leading zeros. So instead of 5024, it would be 005024. And instead of 2, it would be 0002 and so forth. And then followed by the year of the, uh, of the volume. Uh, there's also a digital file number and then a uh, camera icon which indicates that the item has been digitized and is available for viewing. So to find these unindexed Jewish vital records, you need to use Family Search. And to do so, you have to create a free user ID. Um, it is completely free. You're not under any obligations for anything else. You uh, don't need to put your tree information on the site if you don't wish to. It's just to be able to get into the site. Um, and instead of normally, if you're used to using family search, you'll use the search records function to find the indexed records. The unindexed records use the search catalog function. So the process is to sign into family search. And then from the home page, you use the same drop down for search. But instead of collect, instead of selecting search records, you're going to search catalog and all the catalog records are searched by place. And in this case, we're going to look for Latvia. So you select Latvia in the, uh, in the search box, and um, then you, you're going to hit enter. And then it's going to bring up this window, and you're going to look for places within Latvia. And so you click on this, uh, on this link here. Then you're going to get a list of places. Now, I couldn't fit everything onto the slide, but this is a list of every place in Latvia that Family Search has records for. In this case, we're looking, and these are all by the current Latvian names. So in this case, we're looking for Dag of Pills, which is the current name for what was then Dvinsk. Now, you're going to go 
another level and you're going to select and so with so what you get is this menu that has church records immigration and immigration and jewish history now for vital records we're not going to find what we're looking for here um, even though they're considered to be church records they're not included with the church records they're designated as jewish records the immigration and immigration is where you're going to find the passport books that the latvia research division is currently in the process of indexing so you want to click this places within latvia again and these are the places that you're going to find and in this case, you're going to have to click um, Dag of Pills again. Now, you're not going to have to go two levels for, for every town. Um, it just depends, and it, it depends on the way Family Search has cataloged them. So in this, so in this case, case, you're going to click Places Within Latvia because, again, they're not included in the other records. And when you do that, as part of the place Dag of Pills Latvia, Latvia, you're going to find census, which and the census subject heading is where you're going to find the all Russian census, um, which we're going to talk about at the end of this presentation. But um, the filming of the 1897 census has, is, has only been done partially. It's not complete. So and it varies by location. And then finally, we've got Latvia Dag of Pills Jewish records. And this is where you're going to find the Jewish vital records. So if you click on that, you're going to get the catalog entry. And that shows that we have the Dvinsk Jewish records between 1890, 1868 and 1908, which is actually 1909. Um, and this is just the catalog record. And if you go down the page, if you go down the page, which may take a little bit of time to load uh, because there are a lot of entries, um, you're going to get a whole list of all the Jewish vital records. So here you'll see um, these are the rabbin they call them rabbinats, which are the rabbinical records, uh, the Jewish births, and then uh, 1908. So these are more recent ones. Now notice that these the font number on this is 4359, and we're looking for four, for four, five zero two four. So you need to do, once the whole thing loads, you need to do a find on 5024 because, again, this is what we're looking for, just to make sure that that, that font number is included. Um, and um, Now, when you find it, then you've got a couple of other options. You can search for marriages or, or birth, you can search for births, whatever you want to do, but the easiest thing is to look for the year, and you you know, you'll find um, when you do a find on 1891, you'll find the marriages, you'll find the births, you'll find the deaths, and you'll find the divorces. So <clears throat> this is the entry that you find on Family Search, and I've juxtaposed the uh, Jewish Gen, um, the Latvia database um, entry, with the Family Search entry. And if you notice, um, you need to again. We, we're looking for 5024-2272. And, and this is 50224-2272, and it's from 18, it matches the 1891 here, matches 1891 here. And this shows that it's in the International Digi Digital Collection. This is the digital file number, and the camera icon shows that it's, um, that the records are digitized, so you want to click this camera icon. And that's going to bring up sort of a film strip. Now, these were not microfilm. These were just went straight to, to uh, digital versions. And um, in fact, you'll see the very first, this very first entry here, if you expand this, um, this you can verify it's got the year on it, and it also has the font number and the, vol the volume number on it. Um, and you'll see that this that all this is 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 just a, a digitized version of the the whole uh, register. This is the title page, and the actual entries uh, look like they begin here. Now we were looking for um, film for uh, image number 44, and this is where you put the image number is 144, and it'll be highlighted in yellow, and you want to click on this record. And it's going to take you to image number 144, a larger version. Now, we were looking for female 235, and this number is 235, and so this is our correct record. Now, I wanted to just take a minute to um, 
discuss the way um, the birth records and also the death records show up like this as well. Um, there's a column here on the left for females, and then the first, so the first column, and the second column is for males. And um, it's the same on, on the other side. Um, there, there's most of the Jewish records have a Hebrew side to them. Not all of them, but many of them, many of them do. Uh, most of them do actually. Um, and sometimes the top of this record, as we'll see in the next screen, is going to be the headings are going to be in Hebrew rather than in um, in Russian. But um, the females are listed sequentially in the first column, and the males with, have their own sequence numbers are in the second column. So here's an example of that. This is um, an example from the Riga births from 1903. And if you notice, um, first of all, as I said, the, the uh, column headings, which are sort of difficult to see, are in Hebrew on the, on the Hebrew side in this particular version. They use different forms um, just in different years. So it just depends on the specific one you're looking at. But the left-hand column is the female, as we said, and note that we have female number one, which was, and that's the first person who was recorded in 1903. And then we have female number two. Now the third uh, birth that was recorded happened to be a male. So he starts as male number one. Then the next one was uh, another female. So now she's number three and number four. And then the next time you've got a uh, male, he's going to be male number two. And that's how all the, how you'll find the uh, record. So on the Jewish gen record, you'll find an F or an M for female or male. Now this is an example of, uh, of a census record and uh, for somebody named Weinberg. And these are a little bit different. These were indexed by the archivists and um, the census records that are on the, on, on the Jewish Gen database only show the adult members of the household. There's a whole backstory to that, which I will not go into now. But in any case, uh, the, and so the number looks a little bit different here. We again have the same LVVA, to, we've got 2706 is the font number, and then it's 1 and 42. And here we have, instead of a, a, a frame number, we have a page number. Now, the 1897 census records on Jewish Gen, there are some inconsistencies. Some are missing the number, the font number altogether. Uh, these are going to need to be fixed, um, and uh, some are missing a page number. But um, most of them should look similar to this. So the process for finding a census record is pretty much the same. You perform a catalog search on Latvia and places within Latvia, and you're looking for Dagov pills, and then possibly you're going to look for Dagov pills again. You're going to expand the census subject heading and click on the entry for the 1897 census. So this is what we have here, Latvia Dagov pills census 1897, and this is the catalog entry for it. And you want to make sure that this series, this font number, this 2706 is part of the collection because again, um, Family Search is f in the process of filming these records and they're not entirely filmed. So it, what you want may not be on Family Search. Um, in this particular case, um, so we've got the font number and the the easiest thing to do is to look for the actual volume, which is uh, which is number 42. And again, you, you uh, verify the entry number that it's the same as the one that's, that you found on the Latvia database. And you look for the camera icon and you click it. And this is, again, you're going to get the, uh, f the film strip that the, uh, the same kind of presentation with, uh, with the various images, small images. And in this case, it's a little bit different because it'll tell you how many images are there and you're going to have to look for an actual page number. And in this case, uh, it's not an image number and it's sort of, you, it's kind of a trial and error. You can kind of go back and forth and, and see the numbers. And in this particular case, we're looking for page 392, 397, that's actually a, a seven with a cross in it, um, that is at the top of the, the, of the page. And this is in fact the Weinberg family and if you notice, there are um, there are several more people in the, in the household than than showed up in the uh, on Jewish Gen. Okay, now as I mentioned before, uh, 
the family search filming of the 1897 census is not complete. Uh, the copies that haven't been filmed can be found on the new Latvian State Historical Archives Rhetoract C website. And this is the uh, link that you would use. Um, we're going to be either doing a slide presentation or an info file with instructions on how to find the census on the new Rhetoract C website. It's completely different than the old one. And unfortunately, as far as the censuses go, um, they have split some of them into two into two parts. And so it's a little as opposed to the way it was and as the uh, as opposed to the way it's listed in the Jewish Gen entry. So um, it's a little more problematic. Um, again, this is something that we hope to correct uh, in the in the future. Now, I just wanted to throw this slide in uh, for people who don't speak Russian, because I am among those who don't speak Russian. Um, but you can teach yourself to read the uh, Russian handwriting, the old Russian handwriting, either through a book like this, um, and Family Search has a uh, reading Russian handwriting, um, a, um, kind of an, edu an educational uh, an educational thing that you can uh, find on there on the through the Family Search wiki. Um, but this book is, is fantastic because it not only uh, shows you the alphabet, it gives you all kinds of terms for uh, genealogical terms, but it also shows the layouts of common documents, including the layouts of the uh, of the census records, which and it shows what the columns mean and it shows them all translated. So it's extremely helpful and it's very useful if you're if you're researching family in any place that was part of the Russian Empire. Now, Family Search is continuing to film materials at the Latvian State Historical Archives, and they make them available as unindexed records um, as they're digitized before they index them, if they ever will. Um, so, but so the census records may end up on Family Search, although um, they don't have any specific schedule, so you just have to keep checking back to see if they're there. Now, as far as the Latvia database goes, the links will be corrected, but instead of pointing to a specific record, they're going to point to the beginning of the um, the beginning of the volume. So, um, if you have either the pa the page number or the frame number and or the record number, you'll be able to find the record. And note that other SIGs, and in particular Litvak SIG, use the same technique as pointing to the beginning of that particular unindexed group of files. Um, if you have any questions on this presentation or anything else concerning Latvian research, or if you'd like to volunteer, please contact us at the address that's listed on the following slide.